The next important thing I always pay attention to when taking cat pictures is the focus of the picture. The actual focal point is the spot in the picture where you want to attract the viewer's attention. This also means that the focal point often has to be the sharpest point of the picture. And if your subject is your cat, then of course the focal point must be on the cat. And not just on his tail, his feet or on his belly. Not the best spot to put the focal point on is the eyes of the cat. In portraits of human beings, the very first thing we look at are the eyes. Having the eyes stack sharp is essential for the success of a picture. They say that the eyes are the window to the soul. And this is also true for cats. And that is why I recommend that the focus of your cat picture has to be on the eyes. In my opinion, it is paramount for great cat photography to have the eyes crisp and sharp. When the eyes are in the frame, I always focus on the eyes, except if I deliberately want to create another creative effect. If the eyes are not sharp and they look fuzzy or blurry, then the picture does not feel right and very likely the picture isn't pleasing to look at. So when I take a shot straight on towards Casper's face, I always pay attention not to focus on the nose or ears, but on the eyes. Especially when I'm taking close-up portraits or when I use a shallow depth of field. It is surprisingly easy to get the focus wrong if you don't pay attention and to get it on the nose instead of the eyes. This is even more the case when you are photographing cats with a large sensor DSLR and a zoom lens. With a smartphone camera, this mistake occurs less often because most smartphone camera lenses almost always have plenty depth of field. And if you have to choose between one of the eyes, then focus on the closest one to the lens. This looks more natural than the other way around. Now, how do we set the focus or the focal point right on the eye of our cat? I will show you how I do it with my DSLR and I will show you afterwards also how I do it with my iPhone. This way, you get the idea and the technique of how it's done. Even if you have another camera or another smartphone, I'm sure that the technique or the features for your device are quite similar. With my Nikon, my settings for making a normal cat picture are single shot mode, aperture mode so I can control the depth of field, the autofocus single mode, meaning I can see in my viewfinder or on the back screen of my camera, one single focus point that I can move around. And this way I can precisely define where I want to have the focus. The camera will automatically focus the moment I will push down the shutter button slightly and it will hold the focus until the shutter button is released or until I further push of course to take the shot. So my working method is pretty straightforward. One, I frame the picture and I make a composition of the shot. Two, I put a focus point on Casper's eye. Three, I push the shutter button slightly to focus. And four, I further push down to take the shot. And boom, that's it. You can also use the focus and recompose technique. Fixing the focus first on the eye of the cat and then make a good composition before taking the picture. But note that you have to pay attention that you don't change the distance to the subject too much or the eye will get slightly out of focus again. Now, how do we focus on eye with a smartphone? With my iPhone, as with most smartphones, I have to touch the part of the screen with my finger where I want to focus. After touching, you will see that your smartphone's camera will focus on that part of the scene you have selected. In our case, you tap on the screen where the eyes of your cat are and the camera will focus on that spot. The same focus and recompose technique, fixing the focus first on the eye of the cat and then make a good composition later before taking the picture, can be done with a smartphone too. Nowadays, almost every DSLR, point and shoot camera, and almost all smartphones allow you to set the focus point manually on a specific place in the frame. So actually there is no excuse to not focus on the eyes. Your picture quality will strongly improve. This is of course a general guideline. So you can ignore this if you want and if you are doing it for a specific effect. For example, if you want to focus on the nose. Consult your device's manual if you don't know exactly how to focus your camera. 
Getting a sharp picture with nice focus on eyes isn't too hard to do when your cat is sitting quietly and isn't moving. This gets a lot harder when your cat is running, jumping or play is involved. Blurriness is always a main concern for smartphone pictures because a lot of smartphones are not equipped with lenses that are made to make fast moving photos. But don't worry, I do have some great tricks to overcome this problem. Now to finalize this section, let's do this easy exercise and get some experience in changing the focus of our picture. Take a couple of pictures where you focus on the eyes and then with the same position focus on the nose or another body part closer to the lens. Do this exercise from a couple of positions. Now transfer the pictures on your computer and take a look at both pictures side by side and experience the difference. You will notice that for smartphones the difference can be relatively small when you are far away from your subject. The closer you get to your cat and also if you use a zoom lens the bigger the difference in focus will be. So let's conclude this rule in cat photography. Unless you have a specific or a creative reason to do so, always focus on the eyes of your cat. I will never share photographs of Casper with unsharp eyes on social media. I probably delete them right away. I suggest you do the same thing and your fans will love you for it.